Hello there and welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can handle pseudo prompts uh, with the help of Paramico. So uh, handling pseudo prompts is kind of cumbersome in, in Paramico, but uh, I would like to show you uh, like an easy way to do that. So here we are and let's create a code. So, uh, this is my Python repository, I'm just going to create a new script here, so let's call it para sudo.py. What do we need to e execute such commands? Oh, we have already updated this. Can you see my screen? Yeah, you should be able to see it. So, uh, first we need to import paramico. And the way Paramico works is that first what you need to do is to instantiate a client. So client is going to be equal to paramico.ssh client. And we would like to basically connect Yeah, and there is also a nice to add feature. So <coughs> what we would like to do is to set the client that set missing host keys policy to auto add. Can you see what I'm showing? Almost. Yeah, so this means that we don't want to bother whether the host key has changed. This is a security feature, so if you feel like you you have like constant uh, host key that should never change, you should not disable this this option, so to speak. So now what we would like to do is to connect to my CentOS machine on the port 22 with the test user and the test exclamation mark one two three. So let's go ahead and uh, log in to our CentOS machine. So SSH CentOS. And here what we would like to do is to create a user. So sudo su add user or user add. Let's call it test. Oh, so the password for the test should be test exclamation mark one two three test exclamation mark one two three great now if i exit this one i can use test at centos to login so test exclamation mark one two three and we are there so if we try to sudo it will allow us, but we have this prompt <laughs> that we need to handle. So how do we do it? And what kind of command would we like to issue? So let's say we would like to issue the war log audit, audit log. And this is not going to work if we would like to execute it with the regular user because it has no permission to do that. So, basically what we need to do is to issue the following. So, we would like to get the transport and the client close should end this script. Now I'm going to open a new window. Navigate to my D drive. Git python and python para sudo.py and it did nothing, but it didn't fail either. So we were able to connect. And uh, basically what I would like to do now is to issue a command. And this command should come in a form as follows. So let's go back and formulate our command. So command is equal to an F string or Oh, no need for a string. So su dash c tail and whatever we saw in our console. 
war log audit audit dot log and what we would like to do now is to use the client dot exec command and basically we need to specify the command itself equals command and after that what we would like to specify also is to get pty equals to true i said true and now it will stop at the password prompt what we would like to do now is to use the std in std er and the std out and we make our execution equal to that and we use the std in right to specify our password which is the test exclamation mark one two three with a new line character all right now let's try and execute this command i cannot guarantee that it will succeed but it didn't fail either <laughs> So how do we get the output after this? So basically what we would like to do is to say that uh, if the standard output or error receive hold on channel receive exit status function doesn't return a zero value we could say that uh, the following error occurred and let's make this an f string and we just simply use the std r read lines Otherwise, we assume that there was no error and we could use the f string the following output was produced. And we make a new line character and std in dot read lines. All right, now we should try and execute this. And do we have the right command? Oh, std in flush was missing. And it's now stuck. Great. So let's go back to our D drive, GitHub, Python, and Python para sudo. So now it's saved, and maybe we can, or we should be able to see whatever is the output. Hmm. Okay, now let's try and troubleshoot it. So <clears throat> now we can go here and say that original command send password send and input flushed all right and now let's try and run it once again so git python python para input flushed and now we are print Hold on, error occurred. Print getting output. Okay. 
Now, once again, so GitHub, Python, Python, para sudo. And we are stuck at waiting for the status. Hmm. So if we show the tail, we have the following output. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so the sudo is missing. Now it should be working. So SSH, no SSH, hold on. So git, python, python, para sudo. File not open for reading. STD in read lines. But <laughs> hold <laughs> another rookie mistake so std out read lines should be the one and there we go so this may have become a longer video but just to reiterate it we create a client we set the missing host key policy we connect to the machine get the transport formulate our command and then wait or not really wait but issue the command and we assume that the sudo prompt is uh, requ uh, required to be completed send the password flush the standard input and check whether there was like an error or not and uh, technically that was all i wanted to show you see you in the next video